Hey, Anna here from To Educate and Beyond, and I had a lot of questions about how I created the clickable buttons in my Schoology page, and so I wanted to share how to do that. So the first thing that you're going to need is to open PowerPoint, and then once you're in PowerPoint, you want to make sure that you go to Page Setup, and then I just did a 4.86 inch by 4.86, which is actually a 350 pixel by 350 pixel size. Um, and then once I had that, what you do is you can have a, a blank slide and you're going to go up to your shapes and you're going to insert a circle. Now as you are drawing your circle, if you hold shift, it will make it a perfect circle. So you'll notice over on the side it says the width and the height and it will always stay a perfect circle as long as you're holding shift. And I don't go all the way to the edges. I go almost to the edges and then I put it right in the middle and then I'm going to fill it in with whatever color you want to fill it in with. I'm just doing black. And then what you're going to do is you're going to insert text boxes on top of your shape. And I'm just going to go with super simple fonts. That way everybody has them. Um, and then you type your text over your button. Make it, put it in the center. And then I'm just going to make the size. So then once I have my button and it has all the text I want, if I want to add, you know, um, little icons or characters, I could, but just for the example's sake, then once you have all of your images for your courses created, what then you're going to do is you're going to go to file and you're going to go to export and you're going to export as um, a PNG or a JPEG. You just want it to be an image. I'm going to use um, a PNG and you can either save every slide um, and that will put all of the slides in a folder as images, or you can save just the current slide. So I'm going to save every slide and then just export. Um, yes, I'll replace it. I will be right back and I will show you the next steps of what you're going to do with those images in Schoology. Um, in addition to making the buttons in this same slide, slideshow, you can also make your course covers because this size slide is also perfect for course covers. Just any words that you want to show up on your dashboard, you need to make sure that they are perfectly in the center of this square slide. Okay, so now once you have created your images in PowerPoint, you're ready to start creating in Schoology. So the first thing that you need to do is in your materials, you will want to create a page or add a page, but you want to make sure that this page always just stays unpublished. And the way to do that is to click right here um, where it says publish to students and you want to unpublish it. And then at the top, you're just going to put header images um, do not publish. Okay, and then once you're in here, you're going to go up to this insert content and you're going to insert image or media and you're going to attach your files. And so your files should all be in one folder wherever you saved this folder at. And you can, I believe, you have to do one at a time. So I'm going to attach this one. And you'll see that it comes in really big. And all you have to do, I also noticed I didn't change the line on these, but that's okay. And then I will just keep, what you're going to do is you're just going to smooch it. Is my grammar always getting in the way? And you're just going to keep doing that until it's pretty small. You want it about something like that. And then you can add it up. And then you're going to do that again. Another way, you can also double click if you go here and you can do the dimension. So let's try 350 by 350 and see. Oh, so that makes it much smaller. And then I'm going to line it up. Mm, so I don't know why it's not letting me line up there. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, there we go. So I'm just going to, it's because of that spacing. And then it gives you the guideline. So now they're the same size. And then I'm just going to keep on going and I'm going to keep on uploading the next one and I'm going to go up here click on this little image um, let's see what 100 by oh, 100 by 100 does oops that makes it almost perfect and then I gotta use my cursor so I'll click 
I'm using the arrow keys to move this back and forth, and then I move it up there. And then I'm going to do that again one more time. Here's the newsletter. And then I'm going to click here, and that was 100 by 100. And then again, I'm going to use the arrow key. I'm going to click, get my cursor, move the arrow key, and backspace to put them all in a row. Now, once they're all in a row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on each image, and I'm going to link this image to my Google presentation, and I will show you how you do that in just a moment. So I've kind of smoothed some things around, um, and now we're looking at my Google Drive. And you'll notice I have a folder called Schoology in my drive. I'm going to open that folder. Once I open this folder, I have a folder that is called Linked to Schoology, and I'm going to double click that. And this will take me to the four slides that I have linked to my Schoology. And to get these links, what you're going to do is you're going to click right here where it says Get Shareable Link. And then this link will pop up, and you're going to copy the link. And then you're going to go into your Schoology. And right here, so if it, hopefully this daily schedule link, I'm going to paste this link in here. And right here where it says edit, I'm going to change to present. And then I'm going to insert. And then I'm going to do that for each of my four documents and each of my four buttons. Once I have that all complete, I'm going to go full screen here. Once I have all of my Google things linked, I will then copy everything that is here and I will copy it. So can command or control C. Um, or you can go to File, and you can Edit, Copy, and I just copied those four buttons. And then I will say Create because I do want to save this. And again, if you have a folder at the top of your course that has all your course materials inside of it, you can put this inside of that folder, um, which I shared in my stories. But, <clears throat> but the way to get this up here is now you're going to go to your Updates page, and you're going to click right here into your Updates box, and you're just going to paste and your buttons will appear. Um, then you go right here where this little plus is, and you're going to make this an announcement. You click there, and then you'll click Post. Now, once you've done that, it will automatically put it on the top of your Materials page, and now the buttons that... I'm losing my voice. The buttons that you have clicked will take you directly to the slide that you will be using for that button, or whatever it is that you have them linked to. So I hope that this helps. And I know there's uh, so many different ways to go about adding buttons like this, but this is the way that I have found that is super easy for me. Um, one of my favorite things about it too is by using this page as a way to make my buttons, I can just keep adding um, things that I can copy and paste all year long to the same page. And hopefully by the end of the year, I have, you know, buttons for all kinds of assignments. So I hope this video helps. And if you have questions, feel free to um, send me a DM.